Hey guys, today we are going to be reviewing exponential functions, which a lot of them can be checked just by using your graphing calculator, which we will definitely use today. So the first thing we're going to go over is exponential graphs. Remember, exponential functions can be written in the form y equals a times b to the x, where a is the y-intercept and b is that constant multiplier, that growth or decay rate. It can be found by doing y2 divided by y1 with two consecutive points. So let's first graph this equation, y equals 6 times 2 to the x. Well, I know that the y-intercept is 6, so I'm going to go ahead and put a point there. And I'm going to put 6 times 2 to the x in my calculator. Okay, so there is what my graph is going to look like. I am going to get a table of values so I can graph some exact points though. So negative two, 1.5, which is really close to two, is the first point I see I can plot. Negative one, three, halfway between two and four, and then I already plotted zero, six. And then 1, 12, it looks like that's the last point that will fit on here. So there is my exponential graph. And remember, exponential graphs have this invisible horizontal line, horizontal boundary line called the asymptote. It's going to approach that line, but never touch or cross it. So the asymptote here is y equals 0. And my domain is all real numbers since this graph is going left and right forever. And then the range is greatly affected by that asymptote because the graph is never going to go past this. So that's the bottom of the graph. And we're never going to touch that boundary. So my range is y is greater than 0 because the graph will approach 0 but never cross it and it's everything above 0. And then my y-intercept, like we talked about at the beginning, is 0, 6. Okay, on this next one, they gave us a graph. They want us to find these key features of it. So it looks like the asymptote is the same as the last one. We are approaching the x-axis, which is y equals 0. My domain is all real numbers since it's going left and right forever. And my range is y is greater than 0 since we are approaching 0 but never crossing it. And we're everything above 0. We're going up forever. My y-intercept here is 3. And then to find my equation, I need to find the growth or decay rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a table with two consecutive points. So negative 1, 6 is this first point that I see right here. And then after it, I have the y-intercept, 0, 3. And you can think about 6 times what would get me to 3, or you can just do y2 divided by y1 and simplify it to 1 half. So my b value is 1 half. My y-intercept a value was 3. So my equation is y equals 3, my a value, times 1 half to the x. And you want to double check this shows decay since it's going down and my b value is less than 1 so I did that correctly. Okay let's look at tables now. So same form y equals a times b to the x. a is the y-intercept which is where x equals 0 and then we can find that growth or decay rate by doing y2 divided by y1. So on this first one the y-intercept is easy to see. That would be 27 because that's where x is 0. To find my b value, I need to do y2 divided by y1 with two consecutive points. So I'm just going to use those first two points since they're consecutive. I go from 0 to 1. So 36 over 27 would be my b value, which those are both divisible by 9. So that simplifies to 3 halves. So then my equation would be y equals my a value is 27 times 3 halves to the x. Okay, next one it says the table shows the value in dollars of a boat at the end of x years. Write a function that to model this situation. So I need two things to model this situation. I need a my y-intercept, which I can see right here, it's 9,000. 
And I need B, my growth or decay rate, which we can find by doing Y2 divided by Y1. So 7,200 divided by 9,000 will tell me my growth or decay rate. And I'm just going to have the calculator simplify this for me. And I get 0 0.8. So my equation for this situation would be Y equals 9,000 times... 0 0.8 to the x. Okay, in word problems, A is the y-intercept, so it's the initial value in a word problem. And then B is how much the function grows or decays. So you just need to read the problem to really figure out how much it is growing or decaying. So as I'm reading the problem, you think about what the initial value is and what the growth or decay rate would be. This first one says there are 42 teams in a volleyball tournament in each round. Half the teams are eliminated. Write a function to represent the number of teams remaining in the tournament at the end of X rounds. So I can tell that my initial value, my A value is going to be 42. And then half of the teams are eliminated each round. So that means I'm going to have a decay rate of one half. We're just going to keep taking half of the teams. So my function for this one would be Y equals 42 times one half to the X. All right, next one says the value of a stamp collection is currently $2,750. It increases on average by about 1.75% each year. Write a function to model the value of the stamp collection after X number of years. So the initial value would be what it's worth currently, which is $2,750. And then my growth or decay rate, it says it increases on average by about 1.75%. So since it is growing, I'm going to do 1 plus the rate as a decimal for my B value to get that B value to be greater than 1 since I know that it's increasing. So my B value would be 1 plus... 1.75% as a decimal would be 0 0.0175. So my B value is 1.0175. So now I have both things I need to write my equation. I have the A and the B value. So it would be Y equals 2,750 times 1.0175 to the X. All right, our last section is over exponential regression, which I like to use the TI calculator for. So I pulled that up. We can enter X and Y data into the stat plot by hitting stat, enter. And then if I want to get the exponential curve of best fit, then I do stat arrow over to calc. And then we go all the way down to zero for exponential regression. So let's look at this problem. It says the table shows the depreciation of a car for several years since 2016. The data can be modeled by an exponential function. So they will either tell you that it's exponential or you'll see it in the answer choices because the exponents will be X and that's how you know how to use zero exponential regression. And they want us to write a function to best model the data. So I'm just gonna enter the data in, stat, enter. Let me reset my calculator, it's being a little weird. Second plus seven, one, two. Okay, stat, enter. And I am going to put the X values, the number of years in L1, so zero to seven. And then my Y values are gonna go in L2. Okay, now I have all my data in and I'm going to do stat, arrow over to calc, then go down to zero for exponential regression. And the A value is 
3, and then the B value is 0.836. So I can write my equation for this table now. It would be Y equals 3, 3, 4, 4, 1, 0.83 times the B value is 0 0.836 to the X.